Well, welcome to the latest uh, edition of our DDWRT series here on Try This at Home. Um, today we're going to talk a bit about DNS. Um, we've talked in the past about um, using a DNS cache to um, speed up your browsing. Today we're going to talk about using a cache other than the one that your ISP supplies. Now there may be different reasons that you want to do this. For example, if you ran a uh, DNS benchmarking tool, um, like some of the ones that uh, I've talked about before on our website, um, it, or even that I talked about in um, the uh, DNS caching segment, you'll know that some servers are quicker to respond than others. So if your ISP is slow to respond to DNS requests, then it's going to take you longer for pages to load. And also, if, you're, if you have small children or things, you may want to block sites that have adult content or are noted as being unsafe. And there are DNS servers that will allow you to do all of these descriptions too. So you can check and see which DNS server is going to be the fastest for you in your case or in your location. Um, Google DNS is a very popular choice and OpenDNS also and OpenDNS Family Shield is the one that um, will block malicious sites and um, sites with known adult content. It may not get everything but for the most part it's it does pretty decent. Um, so what you're going to need is to find the IP address of these DNS servers, which it's not too hard. Google DNS is 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. So those are really easy to remember. OpenDNS has them if you go to their uh, main page and hit Home DNS and then Premium DNS Get Started. It has the two IPs listed right over here on the side, completely free. And the Family Shield is a little bit more tricky. Um, if you go to the OpenDNS homepage, hit Home DNS, go to Parental Controls, get started, the orange button here, and then they've got all these choices. And it's not OpenDNS Home, it's OpenDNS Family Shield. And then you'll hit Sign Up Now, and then you don't have to enter your email address. Look down below, Continue Setup Without Signing Up, and then for ease of what we're doing, their router directions do not have DDWRT that I can find, and their computer directions, it doesn't really matter. So just, just go to any of anything and just find a router and scroll down until you find the addresses for OpenDNS, which are right here. It's on every page. So grab those or keep the page open. Go over to your router's admin page. Once you've logged in, go to Setup. Now if you're using DNS caching, you're going to want the first of your static DNS down in Network Setup of your Setup Basic Setup tab. It has your WAN Setup, Network Setup. Down here it has DHCP. So these are the DNS servers that your router pushes to your computer when you connect to the network. So by changing these, all these ones that are zero, DNS2 and DNS3 in my case, they're all zero, so it will just grab whatever it received from the um, cable modem, DSL modem, whatever you have to connect to the internet. Uh, static DNS1, if you're using DNS caching, like I brought out in my other segments, static DNS1 should always be set to your router's IP because you want your computer to check that first before it checks anything else. So always put your router's IP first. Then these other two, put Google, Family Shield, whatever you want, into there. So if we wanted to do Google DNS, 8, tab 8, tab 8, tab 8, and then 8844. 4. Once you've done that, apply the settings and after it processes you're now using Google DNS. To update it for sure though you're going to have to disconnect and reconnect to the internet so if you're on a wired connection that's either going to be disabling, re-enabling your um, wired connector or if you're on a wireless connection just disconnect, reconnect and you'll get the new DNS settings. Um, the Family Shield is 
they're all the same. As long as you have the IPs of the um, DNS servers, just put it in there, apply your settings, and that will get pushed to your uh, computers and Android devices. Anything that you connect to your network with will then get those DNS servers. So happy browsing. Hopefully this will speed you up or allow you a little more control over uh, what is seen on your computers. So thanks for watching and if you have any thoughts or ideas please feel free to comment on this video or go to our forums and post there with your ideas.